Hey guys, this is Meredith from LimeCompass.net and uh, I didn't get to make a video for you last week. I had a bit of a rough week and um, had to take it kind of slow. So I'm back and I wanted to let you know about cleavers, which is popping up all over uh, Western North Carolina right now. Um, Gallum is the, um, the Latin name and um, we'll find it throughout the woodlands growing in shady areas. And it's a wonderful spring food. Um, the tips of the plants are often eaten. They're, it's very easy to identify because of its world leaves and because it has these little tiny hairs that like to stick to you. The hairs can get a little bit much uh, further down on the stem and that's why the, um, the tops are mostly eaten fresh. But the, um, and if you go to the herbal blog at limecompass.net, I'll have lots of up close pictures of cleaver for you. And what else can I tell you? Um, cleavers is really well known for uh, clearing and moving stagnation in the lymph system, as many of our spring herbs are. I always think of it as a lymph and blood cleanser. And um, so anywhere swollen lymphs on the body, be it your neck, your armpits, your inner thighs, anything like that. Um, let's see, uh, stomach ulcers is very well known for helping with stomach ulcers. And um, a lot of people will juice the plant. Um, in some areas, cleavers can grow so abundantly and you can harvest them and juice them. And then you can pour that juice into ice cube trays and then you'll always have a little bit of the fresh juice and that's a wonderful way to preserve it. You can also tincture it at 50% alcohol. And um, let's see, it's also really well known for urinary tract irritation. So um, for those of us that have issues with burning, with peeing, or that urge to go, even when our culture is clean, um, then um, it's, it's a wonderful herb to use then. Its common name is bed straw because it used to be, uh, mattresses used to be stuffed with it. Um, it's not an herb that you want to dry. You will, um, you'll get the medicine in the fresh plant, not in the dried plant. Um, what else can I tell you about? Um, Oh, teas. You can make a tea from it. And because it's so mineral rich, you want to um, you want to let it sit for a few hours to steep it for a few hours. So one to two hours at least to help move those minerals from the plant into the water. Um, like many spring greens, it has protein in it. And um, that's what I can think to tell you. My children love this plant. Whenever they spot it, they, you know, they cleave you. <laughs> um, what else? Enjoy the springtime, folks. There's so much popping up all around us. And um, I'll try to make videos as much as I can when I notice something that might be helpful. And um, wishing you all well.